All right, everybody, got a little tutorial here to start on Adobe Animate, okay? So we're just gonna do a simple animation. Uh, really, really simple, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Let's just get started in the program. Uh, so the first thing we gotta do, we gotta get to our home screen, right? And then we're gonna go create new. Okay, now uh, over here, I just need to pick what kind of, uh, you know, frame I want, right? What kind of resolution and all that. <clears throat> this is nothing crazy. So let's just go, let's just go HD. That's fine. Now I like to work in 24 frames per second. That's just kind of the norm for 2D animation. And that's kind of what I used to do. So 24 frames per second is what I'm going to go with. Um, and then all that should be already preset. Um, okay, for here, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to go action script 3.0. I'm not going to create a website here. So that all looks good. Let's hit create. And here we go. Okay, what we have here, so there's an intro to Adobe Animate. So real quickly, we've got tools here. Hopefully you're kind of familiar with the toolbar with the Adobe products like um, Illustrator or Photoshop, most likely. Some of them will look similar and there's a lot of similarities and a lot of differences and you know, there we go. But you know, you got the palette down here. Over here you have your uh, timeline. Okay, so this is where we're going to kind of use um, the timeline to create different uh, frames. And you know, this is uh, 24 per second. So one second would be right there. Okay, that's one second, and then so on and so on. Okay, over here, we've got uh, some windows. Uh, now, we're not going to need to mess with these for this little intro thing so much. So let's kind of just ignore this for now. If we need to use it, we'll use it. Okay, so let's just get a sphere to move across the screen. So let me see where my frame is here. So I just put fit in window so I can see what I'm working with here. So <clears throat> we have some selection tools here, which we're going to use later, lasso tool. Uh, but what I want to get to are the brushes right now. So I've got my classic brush and then I got a fluid brush. Let's use a fluid brush. It's a little different. It'll make things a little smoother for us. Um, I can click on the color palette down here. And that'll let me select colors. I just, I'm going to use black for now. That's fine. You can see a layer here that we're working on. That's fine. We're going to work on this layer and let's see what we want to do. I want to create, let's at least start with a second of animation. So I'm going to go to 24 here, go to 24. I'm going to select it there and I need this little button here and I need to insert some keyframes. Okay. So I'm going to click and hold it down. It'll give me some options here. Let's go to frame. There we go. Now I've got some frames here up to 24 and I can start on I could change this and add more later and all that. So I have nothing here right now, but let's just go to the first frame because it matters where I'm at, right? This is time. So I'm on frame one, got my fluid brush. Let's just do a little circle. I'm going to hit undo. You can, I, I always kind of have my hand on command Z, especially if I'm doing something like this, like a little circle. So I get one I'm happy with. All right, I'm kind of happy with that one. That's fine. There's my little starting sphere. Now I want it to get to across the screen. So I'm just going to do it. Let's see, 24 to get there. I'm going to do it on 24. I might have to move it later, but that's okay. I'll be showing you how I move it. I'm going to draw another one over here at 24. But actually, no, let's go here. Let's go to 25. We'll have it end on 25. So I'm going to go to 25. I'm going to insert. Oops. I want to insert a keyframe, blank keyframe. <clears throat> there we go. So I had to switch it there. So blank keyframe made it so there's nothing there, right? On these keyframes now, there's one through 24. There's that first little drawing I did. But now that I created a blank keyframe right here, right? Blank keyframe. I got a blank keyframe. Okay. So I'm going to make another sphere over here, but. I can't see what I drew. So in order to see what I drew, I'm going to turn on onion skin. Okay. So I can see now that I have these little lighter bars here that show me where the onion skin is. Like it's an onion skin that you can like see through. That's what they're saying here. And I can see back this many frames and I can adjust it right by dragging that blue bar or even the green bar on the other side, but there's, there's no other frames here. So it doesn't really matter right now. So all I need to do is be able to see that. I just want to be able to go to that frame, do a, see a see-through kind of transparent version. So I kind of have an idea of how big to draw 
my circle on the 25th frame, making it really rough. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now I've got one to 24. Okay, now you can see because I have the green extended out from where the playhead is right here. Now I can see when I'm on uh, frame 23 here, I can start to see the uh, keyframe in front of it, right? As well as if I go here, I can see the keyframe behind it in blue. Over here, I can see it in green corresponding to the colors. Okay, that's all fine. What I need to do now is I need to move this from here to there. And we're gonna do this one by drawing each frame. So we're gonna animate, let's see, let's go ahead and animate. I need to, it's, we're just gonna do a straight animation. We're not doing anything crazy. It's gonna go from here to here. So I need to find the midpoint is what I need to find. Okay, so 24, 12, right, would be the middle. But that means on 13 is where I would wanna make my next one, right? 12, the first 12 are gonna go there. Let's go 13 will be the next one for the next chunk of 12. We'll go there and look, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna extend that so I can now see the whole thing. Okay, and right there, let's insert a blank keyframe. Okay, got a new keyframe there. Now I can kind of estimate here in the middle and I'm gonna draw another circle. Let's see. Whoop, all right, don't like that one. Command Z. Yeah, it looks a little small, a little wonky. All right, good enough. Okay, now I'm looking at it. It looks a little closer to the right side than the left side, not much, but, and this is already kind of gonna be janky animation, but that's okay. But I wanna show you that I can use this button, the white arrow here, that is actually the free transform tool. I never remember Q as the shortcut for that, but I can go ahead and pick it up by clicking on it and I can move it a little bit and adjust where its placement is. Let's see if that looks a little better to me. A little more. All right, I think that looks okay. All right, so there we go. Now I've got here, 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 and let's go ahead and turn onion skin off. Let's put it in the beginning. And let me show you here if I play it, with the play button there, it's gonna go, right, start there, and hold there for 12 frames, 13th frame, it'll be there, and then it'll sit finally at the end here on the 25th frame. Okay, so we got some basic animation already, but obviously uh, that's a huge jump. So let's go ahead and do some more in-betweens. Okay, so let's turn onion skin back on. Make it a little smaller now because now I have a little, well, it doesn't matter that much, but you know, there it is, whatever. I can see here. So let's go, let's cut this in half again. So we'll just do this really easy by cutting things in half. So we got 12 here. So that means six frames is gonna be one half and then seven through 12 will be their other half. So let's go there to seven. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blank keyframe. All right, now I got a new one there. And I can get my brush again. Let's go ahead and draw our next sphere. And again, I'm, eh, a little big, but I mean, I mean, they're all not great. <laughs> okay, let's see. There we go. It'll be a wobbly ball. Okay, and once again, I can see it's a little more towards the uh, right. So I'm going to go ahead and just scooch it over with that arrow again, the uh, white arrow. All right, it may be growing a little bit, but this is all wonky. So there we go. Let's go over here between these two. Um, so I've got, I'm, ho I'm holding each one right now for six uh, frames, right? So six, six, so I can just count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go to the next one. That's where I'm gonna create my blank keyframe. All right, I did it, yep. All right, here we go. Let me double check here, all right, good. Okay, so right here's where I'm gonna want my next sphere. Let's go ahead and, yuck. Yeah, it gets a little small. I actually wanted a little rougher because I have that little line up top. Oh. All right, there we go. Okay, the placement looks okay. Maybe it's a little more to the right, but that's fine. All right, let's test it again. So here we go. We got it going across. Let's turn onion skin off. Let's hit play. Okay, looking a little more like animation. 
a little more. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to cut it in half again. So one, two, three. That means four. Okay, and the fourth one's where I'm going to put my new keyframe. So I'm going to hit that again. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Yep, that looks good. And again, it's already set to blank keyframe. So every time I hit it, it's going to just create that blank frame. Turn onion skin back on again. All right. Um, fluid brush. Uh, sure, why not? All right, let's go here. One, two, three. And then on the fourth one there, which is 10, I'm going to create that next frame. It's going to get smaller and then bigger, bigger, smaller, bigger. That's fine. That's fine. This is just quick. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three. And on the fourth one there, I'm going to hit that blank keyframe again. Here we are. And I can already see where I need to draw it. And a little too wonky for even this. Okay. Let's stick with that. One, two, three. And then the next one here, let's hit that blank keyframe again. Whoa, that's just a meteor. That's just another meteor. All right. Good enough. And let's see. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Turn onion skin off. I'm going to hit play. All right, we've got a ball moving across the screen here. Um, each one in three. So we're animating in threes right now. So it's going to be janky. It's going to be rough. But that's okay. This is our intro. I just want to show you how we can get that to look like it's moving across the screen. All right, nothing too crazy. There we go. Um, let's try it one more way, show you another way to do it. Uh, and to do that, let's go ahead and create another layer. Okay, so I got a new layer, layer two. I'm gonna go ahead and lock layer one. And I'll leave layer one on for now, but I need to make sure I'm on layer two. Didn't mean to lock that, let's go there. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first frame and I'm gonna do another sphere. Okay, so another sphere, I'm just gonna do it above it. Nope, good enough, okay. I want that sphere to move across the screen. I'll make it the same exact rate and hit on the 25th frame over there. But we're going to do it a little bit differently. So this time, let's go ahead and create a keyframe, not a blank keyframe, okay? The reason why, if I create a keyframe here now, now that I'm at 25, it's going to keep what was there, all right? So it kept that, that sphere there. It didn't disappear with a blank keyframe. So now, let's get that. I'm on the 25th frame again. I'm going to take the uh, white arrow, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to hold shift so it goes in a straight line, and I'm going to move it to right about the same spot. The other one is across the uh, side of the screen there, and now I have those two keyframes. One, again, I'm, let me turn this off now, i turn that off. I have one over here, one through 24, and I have a new one there, kind of like we started with that. But this time we're not going to animate it by drawing them all, we're going to let the computer fill that in. And it's going to have a totally different look and a different feel and that's fine but i just want to show you a different way so now let's go ahead and go to the middle anywhere in the middle here i'm going to right click on it okay up here it says create classic tween there's different things we can do but let's just go ahead and hit create classic tween and it's going to ask me a question it's going to basically ask me if I, if i want to turn it into a symbol which is what i need to do in order to animate it this way We'll learn more about symbols later, but again, this is just an intro thing, so don't worry about it, just hit okay, and it's just know that it turned it into a symbol in order to get it across the screen that way, okay? So, check it out. It filled in all that animation for me, right? So here it's still selected, let me deselect there, just so it's not selected. Go to here, it's still selected there, so I'm gonna deselect so I don't see the bounding box there. But here we go, look at that. Let's turn on the onion skin and see what it did. And you can see here, that it filled in all those things, each frame. Let me turn that off or turn it to there. So it's now just showing where the frame that it's at. And you can see it went each frame and moved it over a little bit, right? On its own with its classic tween. So by the end there, we've got uh, 24, but 25 for the last one, uh, circles here showing where it is at each second to get from that spot to this spot. All right, so a little, it's gonna look different, right? So let me turn that off. Let's go ahead and I'll loop it here. Let me loop it I'm gonna adjust. Okay, so a loop is just when we play it multiple times. So I'm gonna loop it and then over on the top here, uh, this blue bar tells me where I want it to loop. So if I wanna just work on one little part of the animation and see it over and over again, I could have it shorter, but I wanna see the whole thing loop right now. 
So let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see the difference, right? So obviously the top one is much smoother. But the bottom one has more character. But definitely not smooth being animated in threes for sure. But it is going across the screen nonetheless. All right, well, there we have it. Some basic, basic animation, little introduction to the uh, Adobe Animate program, seeing how we can create some frame by frame animation in two different ways. One by hand, one by letting it move it across the screen with a symbol, and there you go. All right, hopefully you had fun, hopefully you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.